Welcome to number 7 Borrowell Terrace in Kenilworth. This delightful three bedroom mid terrace period property is located in an idyllic position offering fantastic views over the neighbouring Abbey Fields Park. Having internal accommodation briefly comprising three first floor bedrooms, extended family bathroom and shower, three reception rooms and a modern fitted kitchen. In addition the ground floor also boasts guest WC whilst to the rear is a south facing rear lawn garden and detached double garage with rear access. Let me show you around. Starting with the entrance hallway which has stairs rising to the first floor landing. Here we give access on the left hand side into the sitting room. The spacious front facing sitting room has centrally mounted gas feature fireplace with stone mantel and hearth whilst to the front is a double glazed window facing towards the Abbey Fields Park. In addition this room also has original picture rail and plaster moulded ceiling cornicing. Back into the entrance hall and off to the left hand side the formal dining room which has had a large open archway cut into the wall to make the room even more spacious. To the rear is a double glazed window which faces out onto the south facing lawn rear garden. This is the terrace portion of that garden. And originally we would have had a feature fire just on that left hand wall there so that potentially could be reinstated. Obviously that would need further investigation. Off on the right hand side is a useful understairs storage cupboard that houses the electrical consumer unit and gas main inlet. Down the step here we have the breakfast room. Again, electric feature fire there, more contemporary style. Whilst around to the side we also have guest WC. That's a low level WC with dual flush and a wall mounted wash hand basin in here. Now the breakfast room, obviously an adaptable space but currently housing dining table there for four people. Quite comfortably takes six people in here quite easily. You've got built in storage shelving on the right hand side and again another large open archway through to the rear into the modern fitted kitchen. It's a shaker style kitchen with fan assisted electric oven which is integrated, four ring halogen hob and brushed stainless steel overhead extractor. There's a compact built-in dishwasher and space and plumbing for a washer dryer, whilst up on the right hand side is an integrated microwave oven. We also have a one and one half bowl brushed stainless steel sink and drain unit with chrome on a block tap and rear facing double glazed window looking out onto the lawn garden. Now it did actually snow yesterday so unfortunately the lawn's not looking as good as it normally would do but we've got a large paved terrace which I'll show you, lawn garden and then that's the garage behind. Off to my left hand side, timber access door which leads out onto as I say the paved rear terrace and beyond to the lawn garden there. It's a lovely property this but it does need a little bit of TLC but it could be brought up to an absolutely fantastic standard and it really does offer a wonderful position because we do have elevated views over Abbey Fields Park. That's been largely extended to the rear and that creates a third bedroom and an extended family bathroom on our left hand side, the third bedroom being right in front of us there. But if I spin round we'll go up these three steps into the master bedroom. Now it's a well sized double room. In here we have his and hers built in wardrobes either side of the chimney breast and two double glazed windows to the front elevation. The bay window there and a further smaller window. As you can see that is Abbey Fields Park directly in front of us. We even have a little window seat to enjoy the views from. It's 
sitting directly alongside this is bedroom two. Currently housing a four foot bed. So it's a three quarter double if you like. But with this built in furniture removed, you could quite comfortably get a double bed off that wall. Double glazed window to the rear elevation. And as with everywhere else, central heating radiator and ceiling mounted lighting. Continuing on, straight ahead of us is an enclosed storage cupboard which actually houses a loft ladder leading up to a fully boarded loft which has actually got built-in skylight and plastered ceiling as well. Now, it may be possible to convert this. We've not looked into that and that would need further investigation, but obviously you'd need to get that signed off for building regs and it's always worthwhile speaking to the planning officer about that before you endeavor to, uh, to go forward on something of that sort. But certainly there's a space up there with a dormer to create another room if you wanted to go down that road. On the left-hand side, expanded bathroom. So you've got low level WC here, vanity unit mounted wash hand basin with under counter storage. And then round to the right hand side, airing cupboard on my right just here, a BA and a full size panel bath with electric shower over and a fixed glass screen. So really quite a big bathroom in all fairness. Uh, it's a conventional boiler at the moment with a uh, hot water cylinder housed inside the airing cupboard. But if that was updated and you put a combination boiler in, you can actually reconfigure this to being a very, very big bathroom and perhaps have bath and separate shower. Now into the, the rear hallway, this leads to bedroom three. Third and final room is a good, good size single rear facing double glazed window that overlooks the, uh, the lawn garden, as you can see. And that double rear garage there. Now we're not gonna go into the garage for the purpose of this tour. If you'd like to see inside, that's not a problem at all. We can make arrangements for that on a viewing, but it does benefit from both power and lighting. It's got its own separate RCD unit, and it also has electrically operated up and over garage door, which is accessed from the residence driveway at the back of these properties here. As you can see, the house on the left is already parking their car in that parking area there. So it is easy access there. So bedroom three, as I say, third and final room. And we're gonna head back down and I'll take you outside into that south facing rear garden. Right, here we go. So access from the kitchen onto the paved rear terrace. Ideal spot for a bit of outside dining if and when the weather improves. And then this lawned rear garden with well-stocked plants and shrub borders on both sides. It is walled to both sides as well. And of course, rear boundaries taken care of by this detached double garage. Let's just come around here. We'll spin around and give you a view of the back of the property. So, there we have it. Number seven, Borrowell Terrace. Available immediately with no forward chain through Peter Clark. And if you have any questions with regards to this, or any of the properties on our books, please do feel free to give me a call on 01926 429 400. My name's Matthew Coral. Thank you very much for watching.